Howdy folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crest Live. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for tuning in to another how-to episode about StreamYard. I'm going to show you how to add your banners and your logos to your live streams using StreamYard. If you're one of my normal subscribers, you're used to tuning in and watching me review Christmas lights, or I'm sequencing a song to my computerized Christmas light show, or I'm doing an unboxing of one of the products uh, to review, uh, or you're tuning in to watch me my Christmas in July extravaganza series, tuning in something Christmas related. Well, today I'm going to pull the curtain back a little bit once again and show you some behind the scenes footage. If you're tuning in just for the tutorial today, let's get to it. So we're here in StreamYard and you want to add a banner and you want to add your logo and how do you do it? Well, it's actually super triple easy and I'm going to show you a bonus feature at the end of this video. So stay tuned throughout the video. So how do you do your uh, logo? Well, the logo, what are, what are the parameters? What does StreamYard say about the logo? Adding your logo to the broadcast makes you look like a pro. Plus, it's great marketing if you are sharing your streams. Uh, try using a PNG or a GIF with a transparent background. Recommended size is 150 by 150. How do you load that up? Well, you see here I have my my Christmas on Crestline black logo, which you can see right, th right there in the top right screen. That's another transparent, but because I have the uh, black border here, you're only going to see these both in black. When I put up my uh, mascot, you see him right there with the blue shirt, green pants, and red ball. But maybe I want to add a different different one up. So let's go up here to upload. Going to hit upload. And I want to add the uh, mascot with the blue pants. Hit that, double click on that, boom. Right there, we got blue pants. So we can go from green pants, blue pants, red shirt. So that is super triple easy. How do you delete one? It, even easier, you come over here, we're going to click hide on that, click the big X, and we're going to de delete, delete the logo. Deleting things on StreamYard is the absolute easiest thing you'll ever do. It's super triple easy. Uh, how do you do your um, your banners though? You're gonna come up here to banners, and you want to add you want to say a howdy, folks, or you want to say Christmas in July for our Christmas in July extravaganza, or I want to talk about my name Charlie. I want a new banner, and I want it to say uh, we'll say uh, how uh, to uh, make banners. Hit the big old enter button, and I want to put that up there. Boom! How to make banners. It's that simple. So, but maybe you want to, um, oh, I don't know, say so hide that. How do you want to delete it? Again, deleting things on StreamYard, extremely easy. You just saw that. What kind of bonus tip for you? Let's go back over here to the brand page. Let's say you're going to do a collaboration with somebody else, or you're going to have someone come on your show, and you're going to do uh, an interview with them, but they have their own logo. They have their, their own colors. And when you go in here to your, your banner, you're gonna want their color here. I have green for Christmas in July. You're gonna want a different color. So you come over here and simply click in the color and you can do light blue, you can do dark blue, you can do pink. We can do yellow, we can do whatever you want. Anything in this gamut. But here's what I recommend. When do you finally decide to pick, and you can come over here and do this as well. When you finally decide to pick whatever color you want, I highly suggest this number right here, copy that, paste that into a file, write it down by hand, put it somewhere you're not going to forget it. Because when you bring someone on for a collaboration or an interview and they have their own color that you want to be uh, nice and you're like, hey, you're coming on my show, but I want to advertise with your colors. What color do you have? Like, oh, you're yellow. Okay, well, I'm going to come over here to yellow and we'll do your yellow. And your number here is now erased. So you're going to want to save onto that number, hold on to that number. That way you can just come back and I'll see, I'm going to copy that right here. Come over to a, uh, we'll do a blue because I'm doing an interview with someone who likes dark blue. Well, it's time for me to go back. That interview is over. That interview is done with. Control V, hit enter, and boom, you're instantly back. So copy that, paste that, write it down by hand, put it somewhere you're not going to forget it. Take a screenshot of it. That way you don't lose it and you can go back to your logo any logo anytime you want. The reason why this how-to video came to be is in the last StreamYard how-to, I had a lot of people come on and say, hey, how do you make banners? Hey, how do you, uh, how do, you do this? How do you do that? 
both on YouTube and on our uh, Facebook page. So that's how this video came to fruition. Uh, if you have any other questions about StreamYard, about anything we do here on Christmas on Crestline, or about our upcoming Christmas in July extravaganza, put it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you got going on in your lives today. Uh, that's it for me today. I'm Charlie. I'll see you in the next episode.